Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to go over some of the important things for you to know and understand before you save your Google virtual field trip. The first thing we're going to discuss is the record feature. Um, some of you might see a record feature in your Google Earth program. For this project we will, we will not be using the record feature. This means that all you have to do is create your four place marks and place them in your folder with the activities that you want your students to do at, at each place mark and then save your KMZ file. You do, we will not be recording this tour. This means that your tour will not play in any way. When your students access your tour, they will have to manually navigate to each place mark. So please do not use the record feature. And if you see it, you can just close it uh, by clicking on this on this small um, exit and not not use the feature. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is how to edit your place marks. So I have created four place marks. And sometimes it's hard to know how to go back and edit it if I want to go into my place mark and say if I want to change um, this one to call it something else. Instead of starting location, I may might want to call it um, 4. So I'm going to go in and um, you need to go to your places navigation bar on the left hand navigation bar and select the place mark that you want to edit so make sure it's highlighted like I have highlighted it here and then right click on it or control click if you're using a, a Mac and then go to the very bottom and click get info and when you do that your description opens up again and you can change the name of your place mark and you can, you can change the description of it too so Whoops, I called two of them one, so I'm going to go back and change that to four. Go back into Get Info and call it four. So now I have one, two, three, four place marks. So that's how you can go back and edit a place mark once you've already created it. Also, before you save your field trip, make sure that all your place marks are in your folder. So right now, notice that only one place mark is in my folder. Only place mark number four is inside my folder. So what I need to do is drag, you can drag all of your place marks into your folder. So if I close my folder, I can see which place marks are inside and which ones aren't. And so right now I'm still missing one place mark. So I'm going to put in the last place mark and close my folder and now I should have all my place marks in my folder and I can I know that because when I click on this small arrow on the left of my folder I can open and close my folder and see what place marks are inside so you should have four place marks in your folder another good thing to know about Google Earth is that you can actually click on some of the features and you can uh, ask Google Earth to put them in your folder, in your project folder. So say I want my students to see this picture, this webcam, this webcam's travel picture. I can right click on that and save it to my places and then drag it into my folder so that um, it's included in my project. So um, not all the features have this option. So like this National Geographic one, I can, if I wanted my students to access that National Geographic feature, I could click Save to my places and then drag it into my folder. And so I wouldn't have to tell my students to turn that feature on in the layers because I'm already including it, it in my folder. Then I can close my folder, highlight it, and save it. Now when I close Google Earth, it should be on my desktop, and here it is. 